Welcome to our animated film on network protocols. Today, we're diving deep into the world of network protocols, the unsung heroes of our digital lives. Think of network protocols like the rules of the road for data. Just like traffic lights keep things moving smoothly, protocols ensure information gets where it needs to go safely and efficiently. So buckle up, because things are about to get technical. Today, we'll explore the essential rules and conventions that enable devices to communicate over a network. First up, we have the foundation of the Internet, TCP IP. It's actually two protocols in one, working together seamlessly. TCP, or Transmission Control Protocol, ensures your data arrives perfectly intact. It breaks down information into smaller packets, adds error checking, and sends them on their way. IP, or Internet Protocol, is like the postal service, assigning unique addresses to devices and figuring out the most efficient route for data packets. Together, TCP and IP form the backbone of the Internet, ensuring reliable and accurate data transmission across the globe. Now let's talk about browsing the web, something we all do every day. Behind every website you visit is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, better known as HTTP. This protocol is all about communication between your browser and web servers. Imagine HTTP as a conversation. Your browser sends a request and the server responds with the data. But hold on, we can't forget about security. That's where HTTPS comes in, the S standing for secure. HTTPS encrypts the communication between your browser and the server, adding an extra layer of protection. Always look for that padlock icon in the address bar. Next up, we're diving into the world of electronic mail with SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. SMTP is the workhorse behind sending emails, making sure your messages reach their intended recipients. Think of SMTP like a postal worker, picking up your email and delivering it to the recipient's mail server. For retrieving your emails, we'll talk about POP and IMAP in just a bit. Ever need to transfer large files or entire websites? That's where FTP, the File Transfer Protocol, comes into play. This protocol is all about moving data between computers, whether it's uploading photos to a server or downloading software updates. FTP establishes two separate channels, one for commands and one for data transfer. While useful, FTP isn't always the most secure option. Variations like FTPS, FTP Secure, or SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol add encryption to keep your data safe. Remember SMTP, the protocol for sending emails. To retrieve those messages, you need POP, the post office protocol. POP is like going to your physical mailbox and collecting your letters. When you use an email client with POP, it downloads all your new messages to your device and typically removes them from the server. This works well if you primarily access your email from a single device. IMAP, or Internet Message Access Protocol, is like the cloud storage of email. Instead of downloading messages to your device and deleting them from the server, IMAP keeps your emails stored on the server. This means you can access your email from any device with an internet connection and always see the same messages. It's incredibly convenient in today's multi-device world. Now, let's step back in time and talk about PPP, the point-to-point -point protocol. Remember dial-up internet? That was PPP in action. PPP establishes a direct connection between two network devices, often over a phone line or serial cable. While not as prevalent today, it still plays a role in certain applications. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to picture... Finally, for let's talk about UDP, the User Datagram Protocol, the speed demon of the protocol world. UDP is all about sending data as quickly as possible without error checking or guaranteed delivery. This might sound risky, but for applications like live video streaming or online gaming, speed is king. UDP sacrifices reliability for speed, making it ideal for real-time applications. And there you have it, a crash course in the world of network protocols. We've covered a lot of ground, from TCP IP to the speedy UDP. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of how data flows across networks and the essential roles these protocols play. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech deep dives. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content.